So the first thing I did this weekend, or I did this week prior, yeah, well, I did it this past weekend. Sorry, I'm not talking. The first thing I did this past weekend was I visited the legendary, or just legendary, the legendary um, haunt, the legendary old school UK haunt known as Wendy's. Um, I, I, I visited, obviously, you know, the, the one of the newly launched stores that opened in Stratford, East London. Um, and how do we start this? So I have high expectations for it, right? Only because of the reviews. I think everyone else would have told me sensibly that if I would have read the menu, checked over the prices and heard, you know, kind of read into Wendy's backstory, I would have not been su surprised at the level of food that I was served, right? But the reviews on YouTube, especially for the branch they opened in Reading, maybe because they've had a lot more time to, you know, iron out the kinks, but some of the reviews for that restaurant in Reading, the wed the red Reading, sorry, the Reading version of Wendy's, were just making it seem like it was one of the best burger joints ever, right? And considering that the UK in general has probably some of the best burger restaurants you would ever touch base at, there's one particular one I was remembering in Brighton. I forgot the name of it. It's got like a green sign. I think it's two dudes that run it. Really nice guys. Um, I'm going to say one's black and one is like Middle Eastern. I'm not too sure. But if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. And then not even including the ones in London, right, that are just, you know, Meat Lickers, obviously one of the OGs. Even Honest Burgers do a pretty decent burger in there. Um, everyone's got a decent burger, right? For the most part, burgers are really, you know, the, there's just too many options to choose from. And obviously two of the biggest or the best options to choose from in London in terms of walking in and getting a real good burger is Shake Shack and Five Guys for various reasons, right? But I always prefer my own opinion. I think Five Guys is just above Shake Shack just because of how, you know, it's all just kind of succulently sort of... Um, you know wrapped into itself and the meat is just oozing out and the bun is just right like you know obviously you can garnish it how you want so if i was going to go for a straight cheeseburger i'll definitely say five guys over shake shack but still they're one in the same they probably you know share number one spot so when i'm listening to people on youtube say that with well, this wendy's that they went to in reading was the best burger they've ever had some even said it was better than shake shack or five guys i was like wow this is gonna be lit, innit? If, if this is opening up in Stratford, a place that I can easily go and visit, it's not Reading, of course, then this is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be a definitely a good spot to go to if you wanna do a little cheat day or whatever it may be. So I decided to go on Saturday, and obviously, because it's been the opening couple of weeks, there's still queues outside. Um, I think the Wendy spot, if I'm not mistaken, outside the Stratford Shopping Mall is the, is the former spot where the Pizza Hut used to be. So if you're familiar with Stratford, you know where that is. So it's a fairly big space. Um, the main floor is basically where you go and order your food. And then upstairs is where all the seating area is. Um, the food ordering process is a bit strange. When you walk in or as you make it past the bouncer, it makes you look like a club as you're queuing up to go inside to buy some cheap burgers. There's like a there's like usually a girl like you know in on a tiny little desk sort of thing taking one bit of order and then you go to the other back the back bit there's like a standard kind of ordering place with like the menu uh, on the wall on screens and shit and then you order you get your receipt and then you wait and then basically you get called your number or the number shows up on a screen with another hole where they kind of serve out the food and they put it on the trays these little metal trays that you kind of take with you to go upstairs and then that's just, just as bad as you go back to go upstairs there's like a little area for condiments for you to get napkins I'm not sure if that, I think there's probably a drink station there too. I don't remember. Probably think there is. And then upstairs, of course, there's another drink machine too with all the kind of fizzy pops and whatnot you can have to for at your heart's content. So fairly decent layout, easy to kind of get around. First thing, good thing about it is the price. The price is insane. I got two burgers. I got like a baconator, a classic cheeseburger or cheeseburger deluxe, I think, um, fries and a chocolate shake, medium for like just under 10 pounds or no just over 10 pounds maybe like 10 pound 23 or something like that right insanely good prices so that's one thing that i could definitely um put in his favor but in terms of the quality of food it was pretty mediocre i'm not going to say i'm i, I went as far as saying at the time i was eating it because i was really angry that someone told me this was better than five guys and it was in my opinion at the time eating it i'd said it was no better than a, a decent burger at a hotel like you know when if you go to a different country and you don't really know well you know, if you're going like on a, on a work trip, it's a better example. You're going to a work trip, you haven't really, you know, have time to prepare if you're going to sightsee because there's no time because you're on work and you're busy and you just land and then you try and go out, but you don't know where to go. And then you realize that the hotel has a pretty decent restaurant in there. So you're like, you know, what? let's just order in and let's just eat at the restaurant here at the hotel. And you end up ordering a burger because you don't want to order anything else because you're afraid it might be shit. And then you get the burger and it's like, oh, this is pretty decent, right? 
And because you're on holiday, you would do some work colleagues, you might have the company card, you get a couple of cheeky beers in. Yeah, you, the, the burger experience is, you know, that experience is heightened somewhat. And I think that's what I felt with the Wendy's. It's the same, it was like that sort of thing. It was like a kind of a decent hotel burger that you only thought was decent because you were on holiday, <laughs> Jeremy, or quote unquote, you was away from the, you was outside the country. Um, but in terms of just compared to other burgers, just even compared to McDonald's just down the road, I don't think anyone could say that that burger was any. I don't it far exceeds what McDonald's would give you. Fair enough. You'd have to choose a particular one. Maybe you just to go for a double cheeseburger classic or a cheeseburger or maybe a double pound, uh, a quarter pounder, for instance. But I don't think there's much separating. And if I'm completely honest, the meat as well, mostly inside that Wendy's burger was pretty unseasoned. And that might have been due partly because of it's just recently opened and they haven't ironed out the kinks. Like I mentioned, the Reading store was getting rave reviews online. I can't believe that the Reading Five Guys and Shake Shack is that much different than what we have here in the UK. Sorry, what we have here in London. So uh, for sure, I don't think these guys were gassing, these guys and girls, but there was a particular YouTuber, uh, um, these couple of fat guys, right? White guys who I trusted because they're fat and in general, who legitimately were saying that it was better than Five Guys. One dude even ordered like 40 quid's worth of burgers, which I don't know how much he must have ordered like 17 because if i was able to get two burgers fries and a shake for 20 for 10 pounds imagine what 40 quid is gonna get you do you know what i mean so he must have ordered like legitimately like half of the menu maybe more but maybe the range of the menu is pretty decent there's a salads there there's good sides there's nuggets and stuff cool right but when it comes to straight burger it's not the best in my opinion um i think it's fairly mediocre if anything i think the one thing that kind of stands out that i had was obviously the milkshake it was refreshing to have like an actual milkshake from a fast food place and not that weird you know sludge that you get from mcdonald's or other kind of crappy stuff it's just, it just tastes like a milkshake do you know what i mean that was fairly nice the only thing it does kind of melt really quickly so you have to kind of get in there as fast as you can if you're going to dip your chips in there like a weirdo um but yeah man i was fairly disappointed i'm not going to lie it was a bit of a letdown um maybe again I, i'd go back in a month or so once they iron out the kinks but i wasn't really a big fan of it um and here's a review courtesy of my london or somebody else that went to the same wendy's that i went to it says i went to london's first wendy's and the iconic square burgers are better than mcdonald's i disagree i don't think they're better i think they're maybe maybe marginally better but still you know mcdonald's is still what i'd guess cheaper than to go to wendy's in general and they're far they're like far far they're, they're way more long in their kind of production and you know quality of product lane than wendy's would be i don't know i just didn't think the burger seasoning was that great but maybe i'm in the minority it says the review i have to admit when i first heard that there was another fast food chain opening in london i was apprehensive did we really need another contender to like some mcdonald's at burger king um Mandy's has opened up its second current uk restaurant in stratford following the launch of its first venue in reading back in june i went in as a full-on wendy's novice i hadn't seen the restaurant look like and the type of food that they served or what they were known for this person was worried that we had too many fast food restaurants in london this is going to be a terrible review, i got a feeling, but let's continue. Um, what was it about Wendy's that was going to make it stand out for me from the rest of the food chains we already have all over the country? Um, does Wendy's really have what it takes to tussle? But it's, come on, keep repeating yourself. Um, I generally didn't know what to expect. Yeah, so that's the top floor where you go and sit down with the drinks machine there and some condiments area there. So I generally didn't know what to expect from Wendy's and that's part was the appeal. Going in, I completely in the dark. In this case, probably worked in my favor. I had never seen one of the, or not, not one in the US, nor had I ever seen on tv i don't even heard the name so it's literally all i had to go on tucked away just outside shaffer center windows has a sandwich um between kfc and a kebab shop that's a shake obviously she's holding it in her hand it says although the restaurant wasn't strictly open to public yet there was a few people asking if it was open for business which i suppose is a good sign um we were shown an extra large seating area in the restaurant upstairs stratford being the two first floor being the first two floor restaurant they have in the uk the place was clean and pristine most likely due to the fact that the customers hadn't stepped in foot yeah okay get a review of the thing this is so unwinded long-winded wendy has touch screen drink machine and a plethora of choices you can mix and match anything you ever wanted i was baffled by the machine i felt like i'd taken a step into the future there's obviously ordering of the food there with 15 separate items on the menu you might be thinking this is a limited choice but i actually felt like it was a perfect size the menu wasn't over complicated and sometimes that's all you want because all you crack because if you can crack your menu down to a t it doesn't matter about having endless menu. Tony Bell, Wendy Senior International Marketing Director, gave us a brief rundown about the restaurant, which evidently helped build my knowledge. Okay, let's continue. We don't care about the knowledge. Um, 
one thing that Tony made sure that we knew about Wendy's was that to make them stand out from the bunch is that their burger patties are square. A square burger, who do we know such a thing or Wendy's does it? Yeah, a square burger, you'd never tea wears off as you're eating it because you want to actually taste a good burger. Their kind of burger now only marks them from the fast food chain, but also from the catchy slogan, we don't just cut corners literally, figuratively. Okay, let's get, what's your think of the food? Okay, that's right. Um, what you say about the food here? Yes, that's right. Wendy served chili. I couldn't believe it. Now I come to the fun part. It's time to tuck in. After all those things, she's just talking about the food now. We decided to go to selection of we decided to go for a selection of the classics and the UK exclusives: the baconator, the veggie stack loaded with cheese and bacon fries, four piece chicken nuggets, chili con carne, avocado, and bacon salad. Oh, and then before you were thinking, we forgot probably one of their most iconic products: the frosty. All right, let's go through it. Then. What do you get? Served in three different sizes. You enjoy either vanilla or chocolate frosty. So there was a plenty. There was a platter of nearly. Uh, so there was a there was a platter of nearly the entire item on the menu um the sampling each item it was clear that tony was true to his word the food tasted rather fresh than processed it didn't have the most freezer like taste than other chains do what took me by surprise was the chili not only did it blow my mind that the food te- restaurant would serve chili but also but to actually make it quality now that's an achievement you could describe the chili as a perfect meal to soak up your alcohol at the end of a boozy night or the ideal hang of a food the other two items i was overjoyed with were the veggie stacked honestly it's so no nice to s- not to see a veggie burger made entirely of from potato and the salad and you can't compare the salad to get wendy's the side salad you get at a local high street food chain um, Wendy's sides are big and chunky, bloody but anyway, this did this, this review is a bit of gobbledygook. When you when you get given a free meal, it's hard to criticize it, isn't it? But regardless, I would definitely say if anyone tells you when it is better than five guys, they are smoking on those good crack rocks. And I want a couple. They really are smoking on crack rocks because it's not it's not better. It's not better than honest burger. It's not better than what you call it, what did I say, meat liquor. It's not better than all these kind of established names that we know and love here in London. It's not. It doesn't compare. It really doesn't. It's up there. Don't get me wrong. It's decent. It's probably maybe better of an experience to go to than a McDonald's. But still, McDonald's, you know what, you, you know what you're going to get. You know it says outside the tin. It's, no, it does exactly what it says outside of the tin. Would you really want to take a gamble on a Wendy's just to try it for the novelty? And it ends up not tasting that great. Um, like I said, I, I didn't think the burger was that impressive. Okay, it's a square. Cool. But, you know, at least tastes good. You know what I mean? That's what I want. But the, this machine, if you're into your fizzy pops, is quite nuts. In fact, you can just mix and match everything and they don't really give a shit. It's really cool. You know, no one's going to be harassing you or shouting at you from the till like they would do in Nando's. But um, I think overall, a little bit underwhelming. Price is maybe good, good location. Um, if they do decide to open it, maybe later on in the evenings or later at night, maybe it might serve as a good, like, like, like this person said, a good place for you to go get your hangover meal on the way back from the club or whatnot. But I wasn't that impressed. I got to be honest, I wasn't really that impressed. But maybe I'm in the minority here. If you've been to the Wendy's in Shafford and you thought it was banging, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions.